So, uh, so today I want to talk about a pressing issue that's spiraling out of control. As an ethnic minority, I believe it's crucial for me to voice these concerns. First, let's get one thing straight. Our democratic process is at risk. Those who voted conservative or labor need to think again when something doesn't work. You, you try something new. This election showed massive support for Reform UK, but, but our outdated voting system doesn't reflect that. 80% of people, including those who did not vote, did not support Keir Starmer. Now, now this is Britain. We uphold British values. If you can't respect that, fair enough, don't come here. It's simple. Learn the language, abide by the laws, respect the culture. And if you can't do that, if you literally can't do that, you do not belong here. See, I am an immigrant, but I came here legally. I followed the law and this country welcomed me wholeheartedly. Despite my different background, I strongly believe in respecting British culture and values. It's time to put our foot down. I urge people from my community who truly love British values to speak up. If, if, if native British, British continue to raise their voices alone, they risk being labeled as racists. If you want a secure future for your children, stand up against the invasion through boats, culture and extremist values. Now, we are, we are seeing too many instances uh, where people don't respect the laws or the way of life. We are too lenient. Politicizing the police has weakened their ability to enforce the law effectively. Stop and search practices needs to be properly reinstated. It's, a, it's crucial for everyone, including people of color, to speak out. This is not just a white problem. It is, it has become a national issue now. The reports indicate that up to 90,000 migrants set for deportation to Rwanda may have their asylum claims fast-tracked under the new Labour government. Now, this sends a dangerous, a very, very dangerous message to the human traffickers. Viral videos show immigrants in Italy trying to reach the UK. We need to control this situation. Take a leave out of France's book and protest against these policies. If you don't like the way we do things here, then leave. This isn't just one community's concern. It is everyone's problem. We need, we need a strict stance on this issue. British values must come first. British culture and law need to be respected. If that's not acceptable to you or to anyone whatsoever, find a place that aligns with your values. Our current path is leading to chaos. We need to reinstate structure and order. Multiculturalism and diversity have their limits. There, there must be a balance. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. We are at a great risk of losing our national identity. The current mayor of London's policies are making the city unlivable for the working class. We can't let this continue. It's time to raise the Union Jack, reclaim our national pride and remind everyone where they are and what we stand for. If this administration continues unchecked, we will see a rise in extremist right-wing sentiments. We don't want that. We need proportionate representation and a government that reflects our values. So in the end, if you if you don't like how we run things in this country, so so all I can say, if you don't like how we run things in this country, you should leave. It's time for us to stand up, raise our flag and take back our nation. We must remind everyone of our heritage and values and enough is enough.